In the small business edge, some startups are finding success with the help of private equity. Private equity firms take a stake of your company with hopes that it will take off and become very valuable. Joining us now, Jamal Hagler, the Vice President of Research of the American Investment Council. Good to have you with us. How can small business owners tap into private equity? Is it readily available around the country? Well, there's over 5,000 private equity firms throughout the United States, and uh, they are at all different size levels. So um, there are private equity firms in every community around the country. So there's, I'm sure there's one near uh, plenty of business owners' uh, areas. What would you say are the benefits of private equity? Well, private equity investors really roll up their sleeves and work side by side with the businesses they invest in. And with that comes a host of expertise, investing in businesses, helping businesses to expand supply chains, helping businesses to find new customers, helping businesses to lower costs of um, uh, inputs to produce to what they produce. So, uh, you know, I think private equity uh, really gets in, rolls their sleeves up and helps a business to create value and grow in all different sorts of ways. And, and how they do that is using the expertise that they have accumulated over years of practicing uh, private equity investing. Are there any downsides to taking private equity funding? Maybe somebody saying, hey, we got to make sure that you are showing a profit soon. I think there's great benefits. I think, uh, you know, Private equity investors work through uh, good times and bad within uh, their businesses to help them weather any storms and come out uh, on the other side intact. So uh, I don't think there are many downsides to receiving private equity investment because uh, the benefits are proven through the thousands of benefits. I mean, the thousands of businesses that have grown um, and added tremendous value, added new employees, expanded uh, their networks and supply chains and uh, expanded who they sell their goods to. What would be some examples of businesses that partnered with private equity firms? Uh, a toy company, Melissa and Doug, which makes toys uh, that someone would buy for the holiday season. Uh, Kilwin's Chocolate, which started off in Michigan and has now expanded throughout the country. Uh, Simon, Simon and Schuster, Shutterfly. There's thousands and thousands of private equity backed businesses in every state and district. How would you sum up the state of small businesses this year? Well, I think, you know, there's certain challenges, but I think one thing uh, that is available for all private uh, small businesses is private equity capital, which will help them uh, deal with some of the challenges that they see with, you know, rising interest rates, uh, increasing labor costs, uh, and some supply chain disruptions, private capital can help uh, small businesses uh, weather those storms and come out the other side stronger and better. Is there anything happening on the legislative level we need to know? Well, I think elected leaders need to make sure that the business environment is stable so that uh, the private equity investors and other investors feel comfortable making investment knowing that uh, the rules of the road will not change. Uh, and I think, you know, one thing that uh, is important to know is that over 85% of private equity uh, investment goes into small businesses. Thanks so much for all of your information. Well, thank you. You have a wonderful day. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.